We're going on to all of my uh, cancer crabs out there. So you cancers got the six of wands, the ace of wands, the devil, the judgment. You have the page of wands, the world, okay, the fool, three of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and the high priestess. Okay. So you have a lot of Capricorn influence. You have the devil, right? You you got the devil, the world as well. So Capricorn is the exact opposite sign of cancer. You got a lot of your opposite um, energy coming in. The six of wands, ace of uh, wands, and the devil, right, is about how some people out here are starting to kind of come to you, trying to interact with you on that type of love situation, right? They're passionate about trying to get to know you. But I'm just seeing how a lot of you cancers are putting a stop to that. Like, nah, we good because y'all want to conduct business, even though people are trying to actually give you that type of romantic attention. So as you so as you can see, as you could see, people out here are trying to give you that type of romantic attention. And what's happening here is, is that you're, you know, like I said, you're just stopping it. You, what you want is business. That's what it is that you want as of right now. You cancer crabs don't want to be with anybody. You're, you're single, you're good. And as a result, right, you enjoy your singlehood right now. As of right now, I'm not saying that that's not going to change later. But what I am saying is, is that as of right now, you're going to be having uh, a lot of fun or you are having a lot of fun being single because a lot of times people think that being single is always this bad thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing. You get to say and do whatever it is that you want. You, you get to come and go whenever you want. You get to do whatever you want pretty much. And as to it, if you were in a relationship, there's pros and cons to that too. But part of the cons is when you go to a place or you do something and the other person doesn't necessarily like it, you kind of have to explain to them what's happening here, right? Because the two of you are in a relationship after all, right? You sacrifice an I myself, you know, for um, me. You, you sacrifice me, myself, and I for we. So the thing is that you have the, um, the judgment Right. The judgment represents how this is something where um, the judgment and the page of wands. So, again, I'm just seeing how a lot of you cancers, you you want this. You want to be single as of right now. You don't want to be with anybody. And and that's a strong decision that a lot of you cancer crabs have really taken. Right. That a lot of you just don't want to be in a relationship. Why? Because a lot of you cancers kind of, you know, you're, again, you're, you're taking my advice, right? You're taking my advice. <laughs> you're taking my advice. I don't know if y'all saw that, but anyway, anyway, you're taking my advice. And, you know, you're taking the advice of your inner self as well, where, you want to you want to kind of be able to do whatever it is that you want, relax however you want, go wherever you want. And sometimes too, people get tired of relationships. You know, people get tired of being in a relationship. And that's part of the reason why I, I suggested take take a month off, usually whenever it is that you are a when whenever it is that you are an an amateur. Put it like this: if you still get upset due to the type of stuff that people do as far as relationships and stuff like this, you're an amateur, which means you should be taking a break. Why? Because again, I, I'll ask this question again. And this is and this is what had this is how I ended up really realizing it. Is it that these people are so, such masterminds where they're out here playing games and you're just so far behind from these people that they're living in the future and and you're not, and you can only, you know, your selfishness stops you from seeing what's beyond that right in front of you. Or is it this, or is that 
the the lack of emotional instability and mental instability it's the lack of uh, emotional and mental uh stability these are people who are not the most stable people that's the reason why there's a lot of the stuff that they do doesn't make any kind of sense in the long-term perspective it's because mentally unstable is going to do what mentally unstable does so or mentally unstable excuse me mentally unstable is going to do what mentally unstable does you understand so as a result you have to take it into consideration because you cancer crabs are not that you can't trip out you can't crash out because of that you can't get upset because of that like if you saw a person who is mentally for instance if you saw a person who's mentally not there and you was on a subway, right? I don't know where you live, but I'm, I live in New York City. There's subway systems here, but you you live on a subway or, or matter of fact, the bus, right? Not live, but you you went on the bus and somebody sat down right next to you, right? And they're obviously not all the way upstairs and they start burping, farting, drooling, all that stuff. Are you right? But it's clear that this person there's something wrong with them. Would you get so upset at this person? And that's the concept that I'm trying to get y'all to understand. The people who play games are really people who are not the brightest bulbs on a tree. None of them. And there's no exception to that. Like, pay pay attention to them, cancer crabs. Reflect on this. And, and, and I'm going to go ahead and give y'all some homework so that y'all can step your game up. Think about all the people who run these games, who play these games. Their games are so important to them. And pay and pay attention to, have these people been the best at solving problems? Have they been the most successful? Have they been, because they're not all the way upstairs. They're, they're, do, they're gone. They're, the lights are on, but there's nobody home. That's why. You can play games and think that there's some sort of reward at the end of it because they're do they're gone they're delusional, and then you have the the world, and then you have the fool. The world and the fool, right? Uh, is another well. The world is another Capricorn influence card, but so a lot of business orientated, getting directly to the point, need for, you know, need for. A point need for an objective right there so the things that the the uh, world and the fool the world and the fool represents how you have you cancer crabs have a whole new perception of love like I've been saying a lot of you cancers are looking at it from the perspective of when you are out here and people uh, when you are out here and you are trying to get to know people people who kept playing games they didn't take you seriously they didn't respect the fact that you were here in their life and now that you're doing your thing a lot of you cancer crabs are like now that i'm doing my thing now i'm starting to get all these offers from people no forget about that i'm gonna go do whatever it is that i want to do and right now i want to live single i want to be a, a singular person i don't want to be in a relationship and because of the because of the way that a lot of you cancer crabs look at the world like i said it's different a lot of the stuff that used to a lot of the stuff that used to affect you before doesn't affect you anymore, right? The uh, the Three of Pentacles is, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Come to the channel because I'm giving y'all the real game. I'm giving y'all how things really are, how things really are, and how to overcome those obstacles. You stop caring about certain things, but I, but you know. We're going to get into that later on in the future, not right now in this video. But the three of pentacles is, is that, and you, so the fool and the three of pentacles is, is that now that you've learned to not let certain things affect you or certain things aren't affecting you anymore, the, uh, the star card right here represents how this is a situation for a lot of you cancers where that gives you, you afforded yourself a whole new, a whole new dimension of thinking and a whole new dimension of freedom because a lot of you cancers are not necessarily bound anymore by people playing games if these people start playing games with you you're going to stop caring so much and then you're going to do what a cancer does you're going <laughs> to immaculately 
I mean, per the perfect formula for walking away. And you're going to go off and you're going to do your thing. But at this point in time, you you won't hold it in because a lot of times cancer, is, cancer crabs is the zodiac sign of holding in the most trauma. And as a result of that, cancer crabs can also be seen as the scavenger or keeping a lot of junk, not necessarily physically. Yeah, physically it can do that too, but more so internally, emotionally, keeping in all that stuff when you should really be cleaning it out. And how you do that is by first and foremost, analyzing the situation, learning, figuring out if you were in the wrong, if they were in the wrong, and then and then learning what you can do to solve that, learning what you can do to make sure that that doesn't happen. And then what you do next is, is that you forgive yourself and you forgive the other person, regardless of what it is that they've done, regardless of what you've done, because the objective is not for you to go back to be the same person again. You move forward and you take these lessons with you. A lot of times people, they, they, they implement lessons. But the lessons that they that they implement is not like this. It's not like the three of pentacles where you're actually building, you're building a house, you're building something constructive, you're building something concrete rooted in the foundation. And foundation is all cancer crabs, by the way, because it represents the fourth house and the fourth house deals with foundation of the, of the home and the emotional foundation and a bunch of other different types of foundations as well. But the point that I'm trying to make here is is that and as a result of that because of the fact that people don't have that strong foundation they end up really going they they getting they end up getting blown away with the wind right any kind of strong gust of wind tornado hurricane that just come through so to speak hit the house what happens the house, whole house gets torn up and goes away with the with the hurricane why because there wasn't a strong foundation you understand there wasn't a basement and the thing is is that that's what it is that a lot of you cancer crabs need you need to stop holding on to physical things because a lot of times too those physical things as well also represent some sort of an emotional detachment you you need to understand that it's not about the physical thing it's about the fact that you still have that memory as a part of yourself and the memory and the thought of it and the actual experience and what you've learned from that is what actually counts. It's not the physical. It's not the physical thing. So the thing is that the nine of pentacles is about um, the kind of mental. It represents the kind of mental and emotional hurdles that a lot of you cancers are going to have to learn and get over. This is not about. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to learn to, to you you you're. You're learning how to get past this. You're learning how to get through this the correct way. And the high priestess is, is that you're learning how to like, like a forest, like a forest fire. Cause even out in nature, if a forest gets too crowded, I don't know if you, you knew this, but even out in nature, if a forest gets too crowded, the sun will literally, the sun on a, on a blade of grass or a branch will literally the, the 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 grass or the branch will literally get too hot to to the point where the actual branch will catch fire and this is how you get a forest fire so that's actually good to a certain extent because it's actually clearing out when when the forest gets too crowded so nature has a way nature has a way of creating its own answers nature has a way of cleaning itself that's what you cancer crabs should be doing right now. It's not about holding on to, to these memories and being upset because cancer crab is a zodiac sign where y'all will do what it is that you think you need to do first and then cry or laugh or, or talk about it or ask questions later. As patient, as patient as cancer crab is, will still do stuff like that and often see what i'm saying so let's clarify the high priestess your next journey is your next step from this reading right here is for y'all to learn to forgive yourselves as well as the other person and learn to 
clean yourselves out emotionally. Take that break. And then, so to clarify the high priestess, you have the temperance, the four of wands, you have the page of swords, and last but not least, you have the four of swords. So this is a situation for you cancer crabs where it's about self-realization. You will have you have gained more self-realization. You will have built, you you are building that foundation if you're doing it correctly. The page of, of swords, the four of swords, take some time off. Watch out for the people who are trying to make you into a scapegoat. See, cancer crabs is the exact opposite sign of what? What? Capricorn, the scapegoat. Watch out for people who are trying to scapegoat you. If if you apologize, you're doing the work, you're learning, you're growing, you're not going to do that behavior anymore because you understand how it can how it can hurt other people and you and you and you are creating new behaviors to not do it anymore and they're still chastising you for it. That's their problem, it's not yours, which means you got to get away from those types of people. So, that's pretty much it for now. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Um, please, I'm trying to get this YouTube channel to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. As of right now, I have 2,550 subs. Keep hitting that like button. Hit that uh, subscribe button, please, so we can keep going. Hit that notification bell and, and set the notification bell to all so you can get notified whenever I drop these beautiful videos. Peace.